Hello and welcome to another review of Drones Visual. Today, I would like to introduce a drone that has been around in the market for a while, but not many people know about it. In fact, I've had this drone already for I think around a year. And it has been inside the box actually, I haven't taken it out until like maybe a few months ago that I decided to take it out of the box and, uh, and test it and I was surprised by its capabilities actually. It's a very simple aircraft but it's very well designed and it has a lot of potential. Uh, so far I haven't seen any uh, online shops selling it but I think it could be actually a popular choice and that's why I decided to uh, review it. Uh, because after testing it, I uh, really like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few videos about it, not to make this video very long. Today I'm going to just do the unboxing and uh, we'll take a look at the app that you can use to control it. And in other videos, I'll take it outside for a flight test and we'll test also flying it with an app because yes, you can actually fly with an app and it's compatible with both uh, Android devices and uh, iPhone or iOS devices. So okay, let's start with the unboxing and then we'll talk more about it later. Initially, uh, the larger sort of box contains smaller boxes inside and this is one of the boxes which contains the uh, transmitter, as you can already guess. I will show you the transmitter a little bit later and then the battery comes packed in the same uh, way, just basically in a simple <laughs> white box. We also get these uh, stickers and you can place them on the body of the quad to decorate it if you want it. You know, I'm not really sure how to place them yet, but I'll figure out later how to do that. Then this what you can see over here is actually the balance charger, you know, for the battery. And the battery is already, I'm not sure if you can see it there on the back, it's already inserted in the balance charger. And take a look now how well designed it is actually. It looks like sort of kind of premium quality, it gives you that feel of premium quality. Taking the battery out is pretty easy, you just have to basically slide it uh, out and again to, you know, place it back in, you just slide it in, no problems. Here you can see the connector, uh, which basically will supply the balance charger itself. And you can see here, basically these two clips would hold the battery in place once you uh, slide it into the charger. Then inside, I'm not sure if you can see it because it's kind of dark, but uh, you can probably see the pins from the balance uh, balance port where the battery will basically connect. And you can see here that the output of the balance charger itself or the it will yeah it would allow around two amps I think uh, max. This is the battery and check it out. I mean, it's really well designed. I, I like a lot the simplicity. I like the sort of uh, curvy sort of style that it, uh, it has. Uh, it's kind of like a nice, nice thing when you see that an aircraft has been well designed and its components. Initially, the battery comes with this uh, plastic layer on top of the balance connectors to protect them. Uh, you have to remember to remove that uh, before uh, charging the battery. And here you can see basically about the battery. Well, it's 1,600 milliamps. And according to uh, the manufacturer, it should allow you for a flying time of around uh, 50 minutes, if I recall correctly, something like this. Then this is the cable to supply uh, the balance charger that I showed you a while ago. Very simple thing. And then we get these props. Uh, we get two sets of props. We have already props on the drone itself. And then you get these extra uh, props. But you could also purchase, you know, uh, some more props, obviously. Although I don't think you really <laughs> crash or damage the props of this quad. The props, they look decent. I mean, it's uh, they're like three blades and the quality seems fairly good. The transmitter uh, that this drone uses is a sort of a, I mean, I don't want to call it a fly sky, but it's kind of like a fly sky, probably a little bit modified or something like that. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. You all know the fly sky uh, transmitter, how it looks like. So here it has two basically switches and uh, the first one here on the left, it has a function that I'm not so sure actually that it's a good idea to have it. It would basically kill the motors right away. So in case, let, let's say you crash the drone and the motors are still uh, moving, rotating, you could just uh, trigger, you know, move that switch and uh, turn off the motors. But if you're flying, well, you don't want to have that, you don't want to touch that switch really because it can cause some trouble. And here you can switch between basically GPS and standard flying mode, which is altitude hold actually. So it's basically GPS and altitude hold uh, in, in, in the switch here on the right. Then of course we have a pine button 
Although, you know, I don't think you really need to use that, but yeah, just like in the Flysky, uh, in Flysky transmitters. And here you have the power switch, you know, to power the transmitter on or off. So I guess most of you are familiar with this transmitter already because the fly sky is identical. I got these cute batteries, <laughs> these elephant batteries. They were included with the transmitter. I mean, that's a nice thing. It's kind of like a nice touch to get the batteries also. And then here you have the beauty and check it out. I mean, it's really well designed. Some people were telling me that it looks a lot like the Parrot. And uh, yeah, I mean, I can see definitely the resemblance, although I haven't really tried any parrots, but uh, I, I see what, you know, what, what people are telling me. Then here you have a camera. I think it allows you to record full HD video. Yeah, indeed. And you can take photos up to 40 megapixels, I think. Then under we got these LED lights that you can basically uh, switch on or off at will using the app or using the transmitter that comes included. Then here on the side, you also got some LED lights. I think they're more to basically indicate you when you, the GPS reception and things like that are good. Uh, although they will be also, they will provide some visual cues uh, in the evening, I guess, if you're flying in the evening as well. The models look really nice. I currently don't have any information about them. But uh, obviously you can see that they're brushless motors. And I mean, the build quality seems decent, but obviously time will tell how good they are. Then they come also with these uh, prop guards. They are very nice and flexible. I think they can definitely take a minor crash without uh, breaking. And although they come already inserted here in the frame, you can remove them at will if you don't want to use them, of course. If we move here to the belly of the beast, you can see the amount of sensors that this quad comes equipped with. And you, actually, I will show you later in the second video what these sensors can do. But let's cover the, all the sensors here in uh, the belly of the, of the quad. These two seem to be uh, ultrasonic uh, sensors. And this black dot here, this is not a sensor. This is just like a screw that... that uh it's not a sensor. <laughs> so uh, then if we move a little bit here below those, we have what seems to be like an optical sensor. Often this is a cam like a little camera or, or a sensor, uh, you know, that can sense light. Uh, I think it's not infrared. I think it's definitely just like a regular optical sensor like you'll find in drones like the Winsland S6 if you have watched my previous videos about it. And then we got these also massive uh, ultrasonic sensors here in the, in the center area. Uh, they look pretty large and they're different uh, than the front sensors if you notice and then here on the sides you got a couple of very very tiny screws and then here on the rear section again we got this uh, a couple of ultrasonic sensors as well and something that was a little bit about annoying about these sensors is that these sort of protectors here on top they, they you know they kept falling at the beginning so I had to sort of screw them well uh, and it was okay then under each motor, you got this sort of rubbery or spongy uh, cushion here that I guess, of course, will, uh, in case of a rough landing or something like that, it could absorb some of the shock, you know, from the landing and uh, in that way protect your motors and the quad itself, of course. Uh, something that I didn't like so much, I mean, you see the LED lights here, right? But I was not really happy to see that cable sort of showing too much there, I think. The, the quality of the drone kind of looks premium, but then you see these little things that need a little bit of polishing. So, I mean, it's not a big thing, but they could definitely work a little bit by hiding that cable uh, better there. Uh, here you can see then a wire that pretty much powers the motors. And that's kind of like, I think it looks better definitely than that LED wire. Uh, then on the rear section, and uh, you can see it here, there's like a power button, you know, to power the drone, you basically have to press it a few seconds and then you'll hear a very funny melody uh, coming from the drone. Taking the battery out is very simple, as you can see. Uh, and as soon as you basically take the battery out, you will immediately notice that there is a slot or a compartment there for a micro SD card here. Uh, the good thing, actually, in my case, I'm not sure if this will be the case, you know, later for other people wanting to purchase this drone. Uh, the micro SD card comes already included. So that was a really nice touch because, you know, I often don't have uh, these cards around because I have many action cameras and stuff like that that use these kind of cards. So it's nice to get one included with the, with the aircraft. 
Then, uh, if you look inside the, the drone itself, you'll see some cable there. It's kind of like a red and black cable with a white connector. Well, guess what? That, that's the place where you have, you have to connect the battery to. The problem is that the balance port actually doesn't... It's just to, for the drone to check the battery status. But this is the actual uh, sort of power supply cables. Uh, and you have to connect into the battery. You see the, the this tiny rub here on the side? Well, you have to sort of use this rub to slide the cables out and then plug the battery there. I think this is another thing that needs improvement, you know, because uh, I think the quad in terms of design has a lot of potential and it seems like to be almost a kind of premium quality, but then you find these sort of things that definitely need polishing, you know, like, look at that. I need to take the cable out basically and that can be a little bit troublesome initially. And here is the connector ex exposed and basically you then connect the battery to that white connector that you can see over there. But as I was saying, that could have been better uh, done. But I guess this is the first prototype. I can tell you, I, I have this quad already for a year or, or so. Uh, it has been in the box, but still a year. So you connect basically that white connector here in this. Uh, let me show you now how to do it. So basically you have to <laughs> find the sweet spot there and slide it in. Yep, now it's connected. And then you sort of place the battery on top of the quad and slide it in and you'll hear a click, you know, when the battery moves all the way in. Yep, there you have it. So, I mean, I think you should be able, you know, in, the way I would do it is it's just that I'll have that connector somewhere inside there and you just have to slide the battery and it will connect directly without me needing to get that cable out. But again, I'm saying this is actually the first prototype of this quad that came out of this drone and I'm not sure they have done any other prototypes since then. In fact, you know, I will show you later in the second video that uh, the firmware, I think is like the first version still. So I'm not sure whether this company will continue to develop this quad any further. In my opinion, and I will show you that, in, in, I will show you that in, in later videos, this fellow has a lot of potential. But uh, somehow, you know, sometimes you have funding issues and you have some other issues and then a company by some reason don't develop, uh, they, they don't develop the products any, any, any further. And that's a pity, of course, but I would like to see, you know, uh, some more from this company, actually, like a second version of the firmware or a little bit some upgrades to the design of this quad. Anyways, so far, I like a lot the way it looks, you know, it got this sort of nice, uh, curvy, interesting design. It's packed with sensors. And let me tell you, I can confirm now that those sensors are functional. I will show you that in later videos because I already made some other videos about it that I will uh, make in English as well for you to see. But uh, so far, I'm really liking it a lot. Um, be, despite that, despite the little things that I show you, like that sort of the wires from the LED light and, and, and the battery cable needed to come out and things like this, those are things that I think can be easily improved by the manufacturer question is where they will do that they don't really affect the performance so much because once you take that battery cable out basically you know is you're good to go but you know i just i'm just saying that those things could be improved anyways just uh, stay tuned for my second video that is coming very soon i actually have already i have already made it i just need to do the voiceover in english basically for it but uh yeah i will be uh, showing you that video very soon and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i hope to see you all in my next video